God. But anyway, <laughs> flatter than a goose. Listen! <laughs> They told me that when a black man impregnates a Chinese woman and does not marry her, he ends up missing. They started flipping through their phones, showing me all the black men they ain't seen in years. One of them came up there, this one came up there, this one is in jail, Doc. Every black man that impregnates a Chinese woman and don't marry her ends up dead, deported, or in prison. Because they don't play the snow bunny crisis over there. If you're going to get her pregnant, you're going to make her your wife. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Dying for fried rice. <laughs> <laughs> and you brothers down here in Virginia loving these white girls, you better cut it out. You better cut it out. That snow bunny crisis is going to get you hurt. Did y'all see the latest story? NFL player or ex-NFL player linked up with a snow bunny, or so he thought. He thought it was a white girl. She gave him a favor. They linked up again. He decided to confirm the gender. Found out the snow bunny was a snow puppy! <laughs> <laughs> so all you Negroes down here dating white girls, keep it up. You think it's a snow bunny, you're gonna end up with a snow puppy. Oh yeah, that's right. Caucasian trans man, that's the snow puppy. <laughs> so you want you a heterosexual white girl, but you're gonna end up with a Caucasian trans man, that's right. And guess what? You deserve it. <laughs> Shout out to the Caucasian trans men. Get all them snow bunny loving black men. Get all the asses. That's right. You want to date white girls? Good. I hope you find a trans tonight. <laughs> People talking about, do you hate white girls? No, I don't hate white girls. I'm against interracial marriage because I love a black woman. It ain't about hating her. It's about the black woman. And sisters, have you noticed when you see these brothers with these white girls and they see you, they go out of their way to not even acknowledge your presence. I watch these coons. They won't even speak to a black woman when she walk by. They have to go out of their way to prove to the white girl I'm not interested in a black woman. Won't even speak to a sister. And for the life of me, I don't understand how they all end up with the ugliest ones. <laughs> nasty, I mean nasty extra mayonnaise looking thing. <laughs> Nothing cute about them. But God forgive me. I went to school with white girls. Even the ones they call attractive, there was nothing about them that I wanted. Can't cook. They ain't got no melanin, so once they drop two of your babies, their skin starts sagging. Black don't crack, but white crack quick as hell. Two babies, she look like your grandmother. Three chins, two neck backs. Oh, God. I know what I'm talking about. Oh, nasty looking lizard. Mm. And you stuck with her. Mm. Yeah. And the biggest problem with interracial marriage is it's a transfer of wealth from our community to people who didn't already stole enough from us, y'all. The white man in state stole you. Stole grandma, stole your land, stole your inventions. They didn't mm. stole everything we got. And on top of that, you want to give them everything you earn. I just read something yesterday. Kobe Bryant's widow, she about to get another half billion dollars on something he had. Vanessa. What the hell Vanessa ever do for black folks? No disrespect to her. But Kobe made a mistake, rest in peace. You gave that little Latino girl everything. Failing to realize that the talent that made you who you were came from black DNA. You robbing our ancestors. Russell Simmons, white wife, you robbing our ancestors. Mm -hmm. Kanye with Kim, you robbing our ancestors. Mm -hmm. And then y'all got a nerve to call famous black women hoes after they just slept with two brothers. Mm -hmm. How many brothers Kanye, Kim Kardashian didn't slept with? She's still marriage material. Mm -hmm. Look at all the ones Jennifer Lopez didn't slept with. She done been all around. Mm -hmm. She's still marriage material. Mm -hmm. Look at the double standard. Sister had more than one man, she a hoe. They can sleep with half of Hollywood and they still marriage standard. Juneteenth. I'm going to tell you what Juneteenth is going to look like next year. It's going to be transgendered out. Mexicans, Afghans. Watch. He made it a holiday to destroy it because Juneteenth is the only thing that's still all black that we respect. Not after Joe Biden is going to be done, brothers and sisters. 
we still don't understand white folks after all this time. I don't understand. What's so hard about knowing white folks are racist? Not some of them, all of them. Every white person in Virginia is a racist. And until you understand that, you'll never understand white supremacy because racism is not about individual characterological deficits. That's what white folks want you to do. They got you looking for racists under the chairs and under the tables. Where the race is at? Racism ain't no person. Racism is a system. All white people participate in it. There can be no white supremacy if anybody opts out of it. Jane Elliott, she's a racist. Tim Wise, he's a racist. Yeah! All the liberals are racist too. You know why? Because they all benefit from a privilege that you don't get and they will never do anything to change that. Y'all think you gotta hate black people to be a racist. No, you don't. Racism is business, it's not emotion. Now you can be a bigot and be a racist, but you can be a racist and not be a bigot. Black people can be prejudiced, but you can't be racist. All you can do is be, pre you can prejudge a white person. You can say, I don't trust white folks. You can do that. But guess what? You have no power to enforce your prejudice. If a white person pisses you off, so what? There's nothing you can do. But let you piss a white person off. You have to think twice. Because her father might be your boss. Her brother might be your lawyer. Her cousin might be the person you're trying to get a mortgage through. Even a broke white person has access to white power, which is why poor blacks and poor whites are still not equal. You can be prejudiced. You can prejudge white folks, and you should prejudge white folks. I wish them seven Africans in Charleston, South Carolina, prejudged Dylan Roof. I wish James Byrd in Jasper, Texas, would have prejudged those white boys who drug him by the neck when he asked for a ride home. I wish all these black women who come up missing every year by the thousands would prejudge some of these crackers who kidnapping them and luring them into the cause. Prejudging white folks will save your life. You damn right you better be prejudiced. I'm trying to understand how a white man walks into a church he never been in. Thank you. Never been. Don't nobody even ask him so much as a question. He sits down for Bible study. They bow their heads with a slave master in the damn room. Everybody here is bowed with a cracker right in front of you. You don't know him. He look crazy as hell, no question. He stands up after prayer, pulls out his gun, shoots everybody, reloads, and leaves one or two people alive so they can tell the story of what he did. Can I ask you a question? Would you be able to walk into a Chinese church and do the Bible study? <laughs> Would you be able to walk into an Irish Roman Catholic cathedral and do that? Do you think you can go into a Jewish?